What's up, YouTube? I'm Comfort here, giving you guys quite a lot of information today from V Jump. Uh, so bear with us. Um, I'm gonna be reading a lot of these cards for the first time. Uh, I haven't read these yet, so you guys will be getting some of my initial first reactions here. Uh, looks like the new starter or structure deck um, is looking like it's gonna be based around Performo Hells. Uh, Swing Cobra, uh, 318 Pendulum Scale 2. Uh, pendulum Effect once return when your monster or opponent's monster inflicts battle damage. I guess on the top card of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Meh. Uh, this card can attack directly, and then if this card attacks, it goes to defense mode. Um, not good. Um, Perform a Pal King Bear. Um, during the end phase, this turn was activated. Destroy this card, and if you do, add one face up Pendulum Monster from your extra deck, or one level 7 or higher monster from your graveyard to your hand. Maybe for combo? For a mile showdown? Target one face of monster your opponent controls up to the number of face up spell so target control. Changes monsters to defense mode. That's also not good. Home pal long phone bull. You can activate this effect of perform pal long phone bull once per turn. If if you switch some on this card, you can add one non pendulum perform pal monster from your deck to your hand. So searches for second donkey at the moment. Uh Sea Whopper, um, once per turn, if this card was special summoned, can't be destroyed by battle. Um, during your opponent's end phase, you can target a level 3 or lower perform pal monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, so it's recursion from the graveyard. And this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send one perform pal monster from your graveyard, or hand to the graveyard, so summon this card. Um, okay, what is this? Perform a pal Paraka Horus. Um, they look like those little, uh, Peeps. So it's Pendulum Scale 2. Once return if there's a Perform Ball card, Magician, or Odd Ice card near other Pendulum Zone. Other than this, this card's Pendulum Scale becomes 7. Okay. Uh, monster effect of this card is destroyed. You can special summon one non Pendulum Perform Ball monster from the deck. Okay. So this combos with uh, Wizard, which is really good. Uh, Carpet Mamanaga. Uh, if there's no other card in your Pendulum Zone, destroy it, so it kills itself. Uh, you have battle damage you receive, well, that's pretty fucking good. And if this card is flipped face up, target one set card on the field, destroy that card. And if this card is supposed to you can switch this card to face up defense mode. Interesting. Uh, a lot of interesting gold reprints in Japan. Um, now onto the hard hitting news more magician stuff. Uh, honestly, uh, these magician cards are really, really badass looking. Like, look at that. So this thing, uh, if this card has XYZ materials, you can activate quick play spell of cards or trap cards from your hand during your opponent's turn. If you activate a card this way, detach material from it. And then if this XYZ summon card is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect or destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, so if summon one dark spell caster type monster from your hand or deck, and then you can destroy one card in the field. So, self-replacement, it's broken. It's 2,328. Uh, next up is Magician of Black Illusion. Looking really nice. Uh, you can only activate the 1 and 3 effects of this card once per turn. So, if you have a spell trap card during your bonus turn, you still summon this card from your hand. Okay. This card is always treated as Dark Magician while in a monster card zone. Uh, once while well, this card stays on the field, if you activate a spell trap card effect, you can target one Dark Magician card in your graveyard and switch summon that monster. Holy Fuck, that's good for the archetype. Magician's Robe. So this is like the close of the Dark Magician. Uh, you can only use the one and two effects of Magician's Robe once per turn. So during your opponent's turn, you can discard one spell or trap card, special on one Dark Magician from the deck. Holy fuck. If you activate a spell or trap card, or spell trap effect during your opponent's turn while this card is in your graveyard, just summon this card from your graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. If only this thing was a tuner. Um, oh. We even have the Magician's Rod now? Yeah, they went super far to break down Dark Magician. So this thing's a 1600-100. You can only use the 1 and 2 effects of Magician's Rod once per turn. If this card is normal summon, you can add one spell or trap card with Dark Magician in its card text. From deck to your hand. If you activate a spell or trap card or spell trap card effect during your opponent's turn while this card is in your graveyard, tribute one dark spell cast type monster, add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Huh. So, you get to bring out a dark magician from deck, 
Uh, this thing is beefy as fuck for Dark Magician. Huh. I mean, Dark Magic Circle. Wow, this thing finally got its own card. So you can only use the one and two effects of Dark Magic Circle once per turn. Uh, this card is activated. Look at the top three cards of your deck, and if there are any spell attack cards that have Dark Magician in the card decks or Dark Magician among them, you can reveal one of them and add it to your hand, return the others to your deck. And then if a Dark Magician is normal or special to your side of the field, your opponent you can target one card your opponent controls and banish it. Huh. Illusion Magic. Tribute one Dark Spellcast type monster, add up to two Dark Magicians uh, from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And it's a quick play. So they have their own Rota now. That's stupid as fuck. Um, magicians Navigate. Special summon one Dark Magician from your hand, then special summon one level seven or, high, or lower Spellcast type monster from your deck. So, what? So you just bring out Dark Magician for free with all of this. If you control a Dark Magician, except during the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, and can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face-up soul trap card your opponent controls negate its effects until the end of the turn. Now, the fact that this whole archetype is based around Dark Magician and a lot of the support is really good, um, I'm actually liking this archetype more than the Blue Eyes support so far. Metal of Phoas. What the hell is this thing? Uh, I guess there's no large picture. Once per turn, you can target one face up card you control. Accept this card, destroy the card. You just set one metal phase spell drop card from your deck. These guys are kind of like uh, Ignites. They, they might be, I don't think they are, but you can destroy it and set one from the deck. And then, same thing with this guy. They get rather large pendulum scales. So, Metal Face or Hulk. It's two Metal Face monsters. If a Metal Face, whatever the hell these things, uh, attacks the defense of a monster, it gets piercing. If this card sent to the graveyard, target one card on the field and destroy it. Uh, Cardinal. Uh, it's one Metal Face monster, plus two more monsters with 3,000 less attack. This thing is just a 3,000 beater. Metal Face Fusion. What the hell is this? Uh, okay. Fusion summon one metal face monster from your extract, but use the monsters you control or have in your hand as fusion materials. This card sends a game, shuffle this card to your deck, and then draw one card. Huh, I need to look at these pictures for a second. Interesting. Huh. These are more like Power Rangers than anything, as weird as that is. That's kind of cool, and there was no large picture for him. Look at this guy. Huh. Interesting. Uh, some odd stuff over here. We don't have effects. The new Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon 4500. This thing's going to have a broke effect, I'm already calling it. Uh, we're getting another giant soldier of stone. 1300, 2000. Hashtag remake with an actual effect. Marsh Macaron. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh lord. Uh, Hokai spun. Ew. Holy Beast Ganix? I feel like this is going to be stuff from the movie. Um. That's really cool. I like that. Holy Beast Spiritual Grand Hile. Yeah, these have to be things from the movie. Dude, these things are cool. Hokai Beast Death Bolt. Uh, they're powerful monsters with zero in defense. They can't lose in battle. OEM apparently increases the levels of other Hokai monsters and gain the effect as they gain levels. Uh, OEM is the key to the entire deck. Huh. That's interesting. And last but not least, uh, just some video game stuff over here. Um, I'm not sure really see. This is Arc V V Jump One due out soon. Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon and then Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. That's really fucking cool. I like that. It's kind of like a tune ish type of feel, but interesting. 
It's level 5, though, so we'll see how that goes. So, yeah, that is the news for today, guys. So, leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys think about all of this new stuff. I'm really, really, really liking the Dark Magician support. I'm definitely going to test this in a deck. Um, the whole fact that they broke down most of the Dark Magician, I'm really excited for. So, guys, I am out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu Gi Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.